A nil-nil draw today. Talk to me what you made of the game. They're a very good side. Um, spoke about it. Went with Rum, recognised striker in the, in the team to start with. Loaded the midfield, tried to obviously pull us about, isolate our wide areas. But again, I thought we defended superbly. Ashmore's made two absolute weldies. Um, got to be given man of the match in my opinion. But he has probably not had to do too much. I can only say in the Dover game where he's made the save prior to us taking the 1-0 lead. But I don't think we're as productive as we have been in the forward areas. But I have to say the positivity, positives are that... Um, yeah, another clean sheet. That's four on the bounce. That's 10 points from 12 games. We've played two away, two at home now against real good sides. You look at Weymouth, I believe, gone and beat Solial. Um, so there's not an easy game. So the return so far from the boys has been really positive. Joint top of the league. That's got to make you have a bit of a smile on your face. Yeah, listen, you've been in it long enough in terms of the time in the National League. You don't really start to gauge anything until the first 10 games. You start to get an idea of who's having a go, who's going on a run. Um, so we, we'll take that with a pinch of salt. Obviously really nice that we've, um, we've maintained the, the, the nil-nils, the 10 points. We're, we're still in touch with the likes of Dagenham and Chesterfield. So yeah, there is a lot of positives on that. Um, but again, I think they work so hard for this football club. They work so hard for each other. They really put their bodies on the line and it was tough today. They move you about the park, they, they get into good areas, they try and get you in overloads in wide areas and get balls in the box and I think we defended it superbly. And the goal that was disallowed in the end, what did you make of that one after Kane Smith put the ball in the net? Jordan Analyst isolated something in their game on, on Friday, worked on it on Friday, implemented superbly by the team. Marshy doesn't believe he's offside, the boys believe, believe he ain't offside, so it's frustrating. Work to treat. It's what it is. There's probably decisions for and against both sides today, and it wasn't in favour of us at times. It weren't in favour of them. But for me, yeah, we've gone and pit our wits against the, the title favourites, um, early season favourites, and I think we matched them for long periods. Did they have a quite a lot of the ball? Yeah, but I think we allowed them to have the ball in in uh, areas that weren't really hurting us. And then when it went wide, we had a good endeavour to try and stop balls in the box and defend our, our six yard box so yeah I can't ask for more than that at the minute I have to say and finally I've got to talk about Adrian Clifton signed on on a short term deal played today for the last 20 minutes what did you make of his performance yeah blowing out his bum with about 10 to go but he's going to he's not been in the building for us for the last two to three weeks he needs to get back to a level in terms of match tempo um, that will come organisation out of possession we, we didn't really do a lot on that in pre-season early on. It's about fitness and he's gone away when we were pretty doing a nitty and gritty in terms of out of possession, shape, organisation. But I can't ask for more than that. He's gone and won headers, he's gone and pinned, he's gone and ran channels for us. So, yeah, good good introduction to his, his boring career. And we need to ensure that we, um, we continue the work we're doing off the field. And we've got a big game now. Focus turns to Bromley on um, Saturday.